Learning improves when it can be in a constructivist and social way. In a 3D environment, such as Second Life, students are highly motivated to work together and achieve goals. We need to provide scenarios where players are given objectives with playable goals to achieve using various strategies. When these immersive scenarios are seamlessly embedded into a program such as Moodle, students come together collaborate, have fun, and learn in a current trend hijacking way. With the current phenomenal popularity of social networking and MOGS, massive multiplayer online games, we can truly motivate today's student through the use of simulations and games in education. MOGS promote and foster strategic thinking and collaboration, teamwork, leadership, social interactions, following orders, higher level thinking skills, problem solving, and decision making. Moodle is an open source course management system. They have an exciting de development called Sloodle that makes possible the melding of assignments in Moodle with the immersive virtual world of Second Life. Chris Surridge touts his Devil Island mystery as promoting creative problem solving, utilizing student-centered exploration, and providing unique personalized learning experiences. Hi, I'm Chris Surridge and I'm an educator at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology in Daejeon, South Korea. And I'm quite excited to be able to introduce this innovative new program. Devil Island Mystery combines the compelling immersive world of Second Life with the Moodle learning management system using tools created by the Sloodle project. Devil Island Mystery provides a story-driven, student-centered, immersive adventure for students of English. In order to complete the missions, students are challenged to use their English skills to successfully use the Second Life interface, to comprehend and follow video instructions, you find a plant, click on it, you'll get a leaf and 10 points, as well as to communicate with their team members and record their experiences in their blogs. Devil Island Mystery provides an exciting, personalized community of practice where students use English in motivated, genuine, communicative situations. From creating and modifying their avatars, to working with team members, to completing complex story requirements, the students are constantly engaged in meaningful, task-based events that provide them with immediate and meaningful feedback. The various missions and tasks challenge their listening comprehension. You'll need to explore Devil Island to find the Tiki statues. There are 10 of them in total. Reading comprehension, writing, and using in-world voice, speaking comprehension skills throughout the entire adventure. An open source 3D simulator is shown here, melding with Google Earth. What an opportunity for creation. Students need to be able to engage in the construction of their own learning if they have the challenge of using newly acquired knowledge in an immersive world they will benefit. Students can help each other, tutoring and dispensing what they have learned to others. Gamers have an open-ended source of help from a huge community of online friends. Newbies are taught by more experienced players. Gaming is no more a socially isolated thing. MOGs foster group formations of teams, clans, guilds, etc. As players level up and gain more status by their experience, they are highly motivated to return again and again. The knowledge and learning that goes on in MOGs continues to grow, expand, and synthesize into different forms. When we consider the vast expense of knowledge and shared learning in Web 2.0 applications and social networks, we can see the need in education to broaden our horizons and embrace the current generation's way of existing. Gamers learn from each other and from experience. Education can tap into that space. Students need to be able to create, synthesize, 
collaborate and converse. In that way, they will be teaching each other, and it will become a much larger and richer learning experience. Just as a gamer invests hours, weeks, and months into a character in a virtual game, so students should be able to level up and be rewarded when they produce in school. If they have an online persona that they have developed from year to year, they will be invested, motivated to learn, and we may be able to reach 21st century students as we never have before. This portion could be the most important part to borrow from MOGS because for our digital native students, life is a persistent multiplayer online world.